So we know that there's 12 o'clock, do it with me, 12 o'clock. If you were turning to the right, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. So as we made this span from 12 o'clock to three o'clock, we didn't just move our, bent our hands because we know we're doing Tai Chi. And when we do Tai Chi, we know that we have our whole body turning. So when we turn, we used our waist and we used our upper body. We didn't just turn this way. And we didn't just um, turn this way with my waist and my face is still looking at the clock. So it, the whole movement entails upper body, including your neck and your face, as well as your eyes, and as well as your hands but also their feet motion. But the feet don't necessarily go in the same direction as the, the three o'clock. It starts going the opposite direction. It sounds complicated, but it makes sense when we actually move. Uh, music. Uh, Shouldn't three o'clock be all the way out here because this is three o'clock? Okay, so, yes. So, so, okay. So, clarification. It is not, exactly at three, but we're moving beyond two o'clock. We are moving beyond two o'clock, but somewhere between two and three, but definitely not at three, okay? So can I just explain that in the question? All right, so when we're in motion, there is no, there are, there are parameters and bomb trees, but in the motion itself, I may just do a two o'clock, but it's how I turn my body. So when I'm teaching, I'm using exactness, just so that you can get the picture, okay? But I must admit, three o'clock is too much of an extreme, okay? And the reason is this, listen carefully. If this is 12 o'clock, and this is my face at four o'clock at three o'clock, it's too much because I'm turning my dantian, which is my center of gravity. So, to counter that and prevent that misalignment, we need to go up to a pocket piece, and if anything, a little more than two. But two is good, okay? Because we do not want to misalign ourselves and go this way, because right there, we're, we're, we're causing harm to our, our joints, especially our knees. Okay, so do I make that clear? Yeah, I think what it is. Five, then we can start. So we know that the right hand the palm is away from us, but we know it's not extended because Yang style always tells us that there's a bend in our elbow. And our fingers are not held out this way, but as if it were holding a ball. Okay. The, left, the left hand, the palm is facing you, and it's, it's higher. So if the right hand is too high, then you need to drop it down a little bit. Okay. Then the left hand is, palm is facing and it's closer to you but higher in elevation. When we start to move, we're at one or two o'clock, two o'clock, and our, our, our waist is actually turned that way. It's not just our hands moving. We start to move, and when we get to 12 o'clock, the right hand cups as if it were holding the ball now um, in a cup position of our hands, so it's like this, rather than like this or anything else. So this is my cup position I'm showing you in the back. The left hand, the fingers are as if it were pointing to the clock and the stem of our hand is downward. When we start to continue to move, our left hand flips at the same time our right hand catches up. Same thing occurs. We move, we're at 12 o'clock. When we're at two o'clock, we flip that hand when we need it. 12 o'clock, the right hand becomes the cup hand. At 10 o'clock, we flip and we need. 12 o'clock, cup. 2 o'clock, flip, need. 12 o'clock, cup. 10 or 9 o'clock, flip, need. 12 o'clock, cup. Two o'clock, three o'clock, flip meet, and so forth. Okay? We're at 50 50, we're in a good Tai Chi posture. We start to 
we want to advance the left foot. So we're going to have to drain the weight off of it to put it all on its right. Our right becomes very, very heavy. Now we're able to open on our toe, drop down to our sole, our heel. At the same time, when we hit the ground at the heel, we start to elevate the opposite foot, heel first, off the ground, toe down, slowly heel down, heel up, off the ground, toe down, heel down, heel up, off the ground, toe down, heel down, heel up, off the ground, toe down, heel down, and so forth. Okay, so you see, as you're continuing with me, it's as if your toes are your fingers playing, playing on piano. When one key goes down, you can elevate and put down the other finger for another key. Okay, so this is how we are. We remember that our steps, are, our feet are parallel, we know that we can only move when there's no weight on the advancing foot, all right? So now we're going to put it together with our feet, any, I mean with our hands. Any questions on that? So what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? My feet are, are, are upwards. They should be parallel. They're parallel. So you're just doing something. It's sort of like commencing form in that you're slowly draining the weight and then continuing that motion. So now we're at going back to two o'clock, 50-50. You're going to open, your hands are going to start to move, you're going to come. You're going to shift your weight, you're going to flip and you're going to close. Move your hands, shifting your weight only. Open at the flip knee, middle. Only move at the flip meet. Middle. Only move at the flip meet. Middle. Only move at the flip meet. So what did we learn? There's a pattern to our hands and our feet. When we flip, something happens to our feet. It closes or it opens, depending on where we're at. But we know that when we're in the middle, we have almost 50-50 and we're cupping our hand and our other hand is the stem is down and we're looking at the tip of our finger okay all right when we just just did this we were doing a drill to try to put our feet and our hands together and our body and our face but in the tin form cloud hands takes a specific routine or specific Pattern. Okay, this is what we're going to learn. All right. We're in a touchy posture. We're at parameter one. Follow and do it. Move open, middle or cup. Two, flip meet, middle or cup. One, open, middle or cup. This time we're only going to flip and meet. Middle or cup. This time we're going to flip and meet and close. Middle or cup, flip, meet, open. Middle or cup, only flip, meet because we're getting out of cloud hands and turning it into a golden cockerel. Down, moving on, up, tuck your butt, down. Right hand on the outside, right foot coming up, kicking out in line with your kick, in, down, left hand on the outside, left foot coming up, kicking out, in, down, holding our ball on a T-stand.